in this video we are going to see a signal which is a continuous time domain then we need to obtain it even odd part after that we are supposed to get a even odd part which is a changed version from the original one means maybe it will be shifted it will be delayed advanced etc that we will see now So x of t is given like this. The question is obtain even part of x of t and odd part of x of t and once we obtain this we are supposed to get even part but it is like this 2t minus 1. And in second case, xr t by 2 plus 1. So here along with the e1 and odd part, all the shifting properties have also been tested. So let's see. So the first we have to get a e1 and odd part. For that, I need to find out x of minus t. So for the e1 part, x of t is already there we need to get x of minus t so x of minus t uh, i'll do one thing uh, i will plot x of t x of minus t and then this addition that addition need to be divided by 2 in order to get even part so over here once again i will draw x of t Time reversal will give you x of minus t like this. And we need to add these two signals to get x of t plus x of minus t. So we'll see how it will look like now. From minus two to minus one, here signal is zero, but here signal exists. So obviously from minus 2 to minus 1 the addition of the signal will be like this. This will have the value 1. Then what is happening from minus 1 to 0? Here it is a constant value of 1 but over here it's a slope 1 is also get added. So slope 1 will be there along with value 1 meaning at 0 value will be 1 plus 1 2 so this line will be continue to get a value 2 slope is 1 only then from 0 to 1 value is constant 1 but the slope is negative so minus 1 slope added with a 0 slope to get minus 1 slope and the value at the end of a minus 1 slope will be 0 and over here it is 1 so 0 plus 1 will be 1 meaning I will get a straight line with minus 1 slope 
and at the end of t equal to 1 i should get a value equal to 1 which is matching over here and then 1 to 2 no signal exists here signal with the slope minus 1 this slope will be continuing and in the end it should reach a value equal to 0 so we will get this triangular kind of a waveform after adding these two signals but that won't be the even part because we need to divide it by 2 so in the end the even part will be like this if i divide by 2 instead of 2 it will be uh, 1 only the rest of the part of the signal will remain same So this is 1 by 2 x of t plus x of minus t which is nothing but e1 part of x of t. So we obtain the e1 part. It is symmetrical about y axis. So this e1 part is correct. Let's obtain the odd part in similar manner and then we will obtain the shifted signals. So for odd part, once again I will draw x of t and x of minus t like this. Time reversal will give you x of minus t. Which will be like this. To get an odd part, I need to subtract these two signals the signals will be like this x of t minus x of minus t now here Slope is 1, value is also 1, no signal is there. So obviously from uh, minus 2 to minus 1, this line will be continuing. After that, slope is 0, here slope is 1, subtraction will be minus 1. Meaning I will get a line with a slope minus 1. And for t equal to 0, 1 minus 1 answer will be 0. So, 0 answer this point. So, negative slope will be like this. Similarly, over here, slope is minus 1, here slope is 0. So, minus 1 slope will be continuing at t equal to 1. This value is 0, this value is 1. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. So, I will get line like this in the end, zero slope zero value minus one slope if i subtract zero minus minus one it's a plus one slope and that t equal to two value will be zero in the end so this is a signal we will get i need to divide it by two to get a odd part so odd part of this signal will be like this
वन बाय टू एक्स ऑफ टी माइनस एक्स ऑफ माइनस टी विच इज नथिंग बट ऑड पार्ट ऑफ एक्स ऑफ टी so signal exists in opposite quadrant and at the same time it is passing through origin so this odd part is correct now we got even and odd part like this this is a even part this is a odd part now we will proceed for this x even 2t minus 1 now we obtain even and odd part of x of t but we need to find out a signal x e1 of 2t minus 1 so since e1 part is like this so now this will be the base signal which we want to time scale and time delay so as far as the priority is concerned first priority is given to the time delay so let's delay x e1 t by 1 so this particular signal we need to delay by 1 so we will get a signal like this so we will get a signal whose span will be from minus 1 to 3 with y axis value is 1 only and this is nothing but x e1 t minus 1 and last we need to multiply this t by 2 that mean we are compressing signal by 2 units so in the end we will get a signal like this so we are compressing by 2 that mean all the instants on t axis need to be divided by 2 so we'll get over here minus half over here half then we have 1 and 3 by 2 so the span of the signal will be from minus half to 3 by 2 and signal will be like this which is x e1 2t minus 1 so this will be the final answer let's find out a second signal which is x or t by 2 plus 1 now it is x or t by 2 plus 1 or signal we have obtained like this this signal we need to do a time scale and time delay or maybe a time advance so here it is plus 1 so it's a time advance so what we do we will advance x or t by 1 why advance because there is a plus 1 so this signal we need to advance shift towards y axis by 1 unit so the span of the signal will be from minus 3 to 1 
So this instant will be 0.5 and over here this instant will be minus 0.5. and we will get a signal like this which is nothing but x or t plus 1 now what do we want x or t by 2 plus 1 so basically we are dividing by 2 whenever we divide by an integer to t that means it is expansion so we need to expand the signal by two units. Expansion means what all the time instants need to multiply by two. So the span of the signal will be like this meaning over here zero is reached at minus one in this case it will reach at minus 2 0.5 reach at minus 2 here it will reach at minus 4 so somewhere here we will have 0.5 minus 0.5 reach as 0 same is the case in this case as well so we will get a signal like this which is nothing but x odd t by 2 plus 1. So this will be our final answer for x odd t by 2 plus 1. So what we have seen over here, x of t was given. We have to obtain even and odd part and once e1 and odd part is known, we have to shift time scale that particular e1 and odd part to get a required signal. Thank you.